In this episode, we'll finish machining our crankcase. So we're now on page four of seven on our crankcase drawing. Check the date to make sure it's the latest one. This one's dated 12-23-2022. The machining of the crankcase bottom is reminiscent of the machining we did on the sump. Only there are two areas machined out because we have this center web for the crankshaft bushing. Important dimensions are, just like on the sump, this 406 here and here, that's the thickness of the, this web, and it should not be greater than 406, so we don't interfere with the crankshaft end-to-end play. After that dimension, the center web is 375, so if you need to adjust these two numbers a little bit to hit the 375, that's okay. Side to side, each of these pockets are two and an eighth of an inch. And note that they're centered on the crankshaft. They are not centered on the crankcase side to side. If we look at this, our crankshaft bore, of course, is offset. And these features are centered on the crankshaft bore, not the crank case. Looking at the side profile, we've got three steps. The first step here is 752 deep. The second step is an inch and 88 thousandths deep. And the third step is one and a half inches deep. We will be breaking into the camshaft bore on this side here. So again, these cutouts referencing the outside of the crankcase are offset this way. However, they are centered on the crankshaft. First, we'd like to rough out this material. I used a 5 8 inch drill bit and I drilled two holes, one about here, one about here. And notice these holes are offset from the edge. Let's look at my illegible sketch for the roughing. So this is my sketch for roughing out the material on the bottom of the crankcase. You really need to make your own. Don't follow mine blindly. The red line running across the page from left to right represents the center line of the crankshaft. It's oriented with the camshaft away from us. I'm drilling two three-quarter inch holes, seven-eighths of an inch apart, one inch deep. One of the holes is positioned a quarter of an inch off crankshaft's center line. The other hole is positioned five-eighths of an inch off the crankshaft's center line. And both of them are positioned 0.6875 off of the center of the crankcase side to side. So this is just an example. Be sure to make your own little sketch. Then I use a roughing end mill to machine out a rectangular pocket and that completes the roughing operation. At this point I personally went over and used my CNC router. If you're manually machining your crankcase, leave it in the mill, use a finishing end mill, and finish to the dimensions in the print. So that completes the bottom of our crankcase. Let's go back and look at page five of our crankcase drawing. All right, that went pretty well. Page five. Let's start with the right side of the crankcase. And this feature here is where the dipstick and crankcase breather screws in. We're gonna be machining these areas out. They're a little triangular shaped piece here. So the dimensions that are important are these here, this one here, and this 75, almost 75 degree angle here. I think this is going to be easier for me to show you on the CAD. Let's take a look at that. First we mount the crankcase in our mill vise with the right side facing up and machine out these two rectangular areas. If you have your print sitting in front of you, the lower edge of the pocket is spaced up 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom of the crankcase. And the sides of the pockets are about one and a quarter inch in from the front and back of the crankcase. And we cut down 0.154 inches. 
At this point, I would take the crankcase out of the mill vise, paint some die kim on it, and then scribe the line at the very top. Remount the crankcase in the mill vise at a 75 degree angle, and then machine out this triangular pocket. I would scribe a line on the front and back of the crankcase, and then run my end mill along the scribe line to make sure that I have the crankcase oriented correctly before I remove any material. Now we'll remove and remount the crankcase with the oil dipstick hole up and the crankcase tilted at our 10 degree angle. The first order of business is to machine the top of this oil filter tube surface flat. We'll slowly machine down making repeated passes until it appears that there's a bend that lines up with the edge of the top of the crankcase. Once we have the crankcase oriented the way we like, it's a standard drilling operation. However, we will use three different size drill bits. First drill bit, I would use slightly undersized and go all the way through and then peek under the part to make sure our breakout is in the proper place. We'll drill all the way through with a 0.226 inch drill. We'll finally drill with a 0.45 inch drill bit, 3 8 of an inch deep and tap 1 half 20. Notice where the dipstick hole exits the bottom of the crankcase. And then to finish up the right side of our crankcase, we'll take a file and round off the edges. Now turning to the left side of the crankcase, the things to keep in mind are, we want to be careful not to break through to our camshaft hole. So all the work that we do, let's use die chem and scribe and make sure we protect this hole. The other point I wanted to make is there's an oil gallery hole drilled right here that this drilled 1.8 inches deep. We'll do that later because it's at an angle. But this hole, this feature here is not centered front to back. However, this oil gallery hole is. So notice that this distance and this distance are different and this feature is shifted a little bit. Now go ahead and machine this area out on the left hand side and then drill this hole 0.418 of an inch deep, 0.213 to be tapped at a quarter 28. Now turning to page 6 of 7, the last page, page 7 of 7 is just a picture of our completed crankcase. Page six, we're gonna look at the oil gallery hole next. It's a 15 degree angle, starts in the top left-hand corner of the threaded hole, and it's about 1.8 inches deep. This is a cross section right through the middle. And what it does is it delivers oil to our crankshaft center bushing. Mount the crankcase back in the mill vise at our 15 degree angle, then touch off the front and back as we want our oil gallery hole to be right in the center. Be patient drilling the 332nd hole. It's quite deep for such a small drill. Use lots of oil and clear the chips frequently. So that finishes our crankcase, with one exception. There's three holes that are drilled in this center web two screw holes to retain the center bushing holder, and the third is an oil hole which picks up this gallery hole that we just drilled. We're going to hold off on drilling those later. We're going to match drill those to the center bushing assembly. Congratulations! That was a big job. I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Until next time, take care.